Okay, so this is a long, dark loading screen. I'm just going to uh, probably choose Pilgrim to just get you through to show you map transitions so you can discover all the areas. So we're going to go to Sandbox. We're going to go to New. We're going to choose Pilgrim. There's three different modes. Pilgrim, Vil Voyager, I'm sorry, and Stalker. Stalker is hardcore mode. You really want to be experienced before you even take up that challenge. Voyeur is just the normal hard mode. It's still hard. And p the one I'm choosing is Pilgrim, where no animals attack me because I am just gonna, like I said, show you a map playthrough to discover all the other areas. So we're gonna hit confirm. We have to start Mystery Lake because that is your starting point until you discover all the other points of the map. Coastal Highway, which is not unlocked. Pleasant Valley, also not unlocked. And the newest update was Desolation Point, which is also not unlocked yet until you discover it. So let's go back, hit Mystery Lake. Choose a guy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect your gameplay or abilities. So let's hit Start. When you spawn in the game, it's going to be pretty random anywhere on the map you can spawn. See this tree, how it's leaning? Just for a game tip. It's usually pointing you in the direction that you need to go. That means there's something to see or uh, maybe an access off the way place to go to another area. Like you'll see when we go to the coastal highway, you can transition to the mine. So to look and see how many hours of daylight we have, we're going to push the tab button. As you can see, we're warm, rested, we're pretty full, and we're not thirsty. Um, we have nine hours of daylight left, which is down here in the right hand corner or left hand corner bottom. Survived for nine minutes. We have no afflictions. This is your uh, calories, your air temperature, your uh, wind chill outside, and you get bonuses for the clothing that you're wearing. The better bonus, the better you get for the better clothes you wear. The wind chill bonus is uh, also the same thing. The better clothes you have, the better wind block it'll give you a better bonus. So we're going to just close out of here. Deactivated. Activated. I have a trainer on right now because I'm just going to want to fly through here so I don't want to worry about all the game crap. We're in Dave's quiet clearing, it looks like. And we're gonna stop here for a second. We're gonna stop and open up the Steam overlay. I don't know what your buttons happen to be, but I will expect that you can bring it up. <laughs> so here we have a Mystery Lake map. I'm gonna show you how I got here. I'm gonna close this. Right here on under guides, there's a desolation point and other maps. And if it's not there, you need to go to view all guides to find it. But this is definitely the one you want, Desolation Point and other maps, because it's the best map rendering I've seen, and it's easy to follow. So we're going to click this. And as you can see, Mystery Lake comes up because that's where we're currently at, and it's kind of smart and it knows that. But if you scroll up or scroll down, you'll see there's different maps, and that's various gameplay areas that we haven't discovered yet, but we're going to. But for now, since we're on Mystery Lake and we know that we are at Dave's Clearing, we're going to bring up this map by clicking it. It's going to open in a new page like this. You're going to put your mouse right here and make it bigger. And then click one more time to zoom in. And then make your window a little bigger if you can so you can see the map a little better. And you want to locate um, Dave's Clearing on the map so we can see where we're at. So Dave's Clearing is right here. As you can see, this tells you up here what the all these little symbols mean. And the dash road means that it's a small road. Not Maybe not so much in the game. It's kind of like a... you'll notice it's a path. 
you know. Alright, so we're going to go down this Dave's Clearing here. We want to actually get up here to Winding River, which is the at the Carter, you have to go through the Carter, Carter Hydro Dam. And the reason is, is that will take us, um, well, we can go to Winding River, and then Winding River will open up, if you want to close, or shrink this and go back to this. Go back to your maps here. Winding River brings up, um, I believe Pleasant Valley, but I'm not positive. Let's see where Winding River comes out. Oh, here we go. Yep, Winding River comes out at Pleasant Valley, so we'll unlock Pleasant Valley that way. And then from Pleasant Valley, we will go over here um, up to the mines and actually open up Coastal Highway. Okay, so enough jabbing about that. We'll show it as I go. Here we go. So we're going to close. Uh, we can either leave this open or you can close it. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and close the Pleasant Valley map. Leave the Mystery Lake map up so you know where you are. Click on this so it just goes back to the thing. Leave it up. Close your overlay. Alright, and let's start walking. So we're going to run through here and I'm going to be quiet and just follow, take note of what I'm looking at. And if I have any other tips, I will chime in. Uh, let's check our map real quick, just to make sure the direction we want to go. Steam overlay again. Here's your map in the background. Just bring that back up. So we're at the Deadfall. Or, I mean, the Dave's Silent Clearing, I'm sorry. And so we want to go out of there and go left, it looks like, to be the easiest. So left, we're going to go. As you can see coming up, you see one of those trees again, so you know you're going to somewhere. Because these trees really do tell you where to go if you pay attention. So, look at this, we lucked into a rifle. We won't need it in this game because I don't have the animal attacks on. But if you are lucky enough to stumble on a rifle right out the gate, you are winning. Alright, so here we go. We're going to run until we get out of here. Looks like we're coming out to the main road area here. Lake Trail, yes. Main area. So this is the camp office. It's a very important place because it's their midway point between traveling on the tr railroad tracks, which we're going to come up on here in just a minute. You can go left or right, and one way will take you to one place, and one will take you to another. As you can see out there, there's Mystery Lake, but we'll come back and do gameplay um, a little later. But for right now, we're just going to go and kind of go on so I can just show you map transitions. So we're up here, and we're going to spot the train tracks, which are right about here, okay. And so from the train tracks, we're going to look at our map again. We know that the camp office is right there, so that we'll use that as a point on the map to know which way to go, either left or right. So bring up your steam overlay again. As you can see the camp office is right here, and we are going to want to go left so we can follow it along up here until so we can get to the ri winding river, which is over here. Alright, so we're going to go left, close the steam overlay, and we're just going to walk along here. You can see there's some wildlife, and I'm just going to go ahead and run, run, and quit talking.
I made a mistake. We actually want to go the other way. We're going to go right. It's opposite of what you're looking at, so... My bad. <laughs> See that tree that's leaning? I guarantee you that lines up with like the camp of right around the camp office. Or some other area. It just points to things. You gotta keep an eye on those trees. If those trees are pointing somewhere, it's an area you want to explore usually. You usually would scavenge all this stuff, but I'm really not um, scavenging right now, so we're just going to keep going. can seem like forever sometimes, but you'll get there eventually. It really doesn't take as much time as you would think. Keep following the train tracks. Of course you want to scavenge all that stuff if you're in actual gameplay. The more stuff you could scavenge the better. I do recommend going to Cheat Happens and getting the trainer. Because then you can uh, set your weight to have as much stuff as you want in your inventory. It's just a few tweaks that you can do to make your gameplay a little bit better for you, you know, not get so frustrated. It's still hard, believe me, but it makes it a little easier. So we've arrived at the Carter Dam, and we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, and we're going to go through this door, and then we're going to transition into another area. Well, it'll transition into the dam, and then we'll come out and hit Winding River. It's very dark in here. When you come here and you want to have some source of light, usually like a lantern, there is in this dam a wolf inside when you're playing normally. And his name is Fluffy. Not my name, it's the developer's name. And he will sneak up on you. You can either shoo him off with fire, of course, or you can shoot him if you have a rifle, or you can let him attack and you can knife him. But uh, take care that he will find you in this dam and will attack when you are playing through normally. So since I don't have a lantern or anything because I'm not scavenging, I'm just going to light a match to light my way. And actually I can do a flare, so we're going to change it to a flare. Flares also scare wolves, just so you know. If you throw it at them, they get scared and they run away. I don't know if Fluffy will be in here through this kind of gameplay because it is um, no animal attack, but he might. So we'll see.
There's areas to explore up there if you want to. There's a frozen corpse usually. Here's another giant area to explore. But we want to go to Winding River, so we're going to go right now. So we'll get rid of that. We're done with that. And this is Winding River. We've transitioned. So now what we're going to do is we're going to follow this. Again, the trees letting you know. So here's a perfect opportunity. A wolf is uh, killed a rabbit. Now normally, if you're playing the game normally, you could shoot him off with fire, or you could shoot him and have him and the dead rabbit for meat. Like, see, he doesn't notice us. In the gameplay, he would start to notice us if we creeped up on him. I personally would shoot him, take his meat, and what he killed. But it's up to you. So he's probably going to just run off since this is a no aggressive gameplay type thing. But I don't know, so we're going to go down here because this is the way we need to go. You can see we've come to a split in the uh, road. We're going to take, uh, I think it's this way. Might be turned around, but I think it's this way. As you can see, I suffered a sprained ankle because I did something stupid. I jumped instead of walking down it. So it's going to be an affliction for a little while, and I can show you that here in just a second. So bring up your tab screen. As you can see, I have a sprained ankle. I need first aid. I do not have painkillers, I don't believe, and it would take four hours for me to rest. So I only have five hours of daylight left. So I'm probably going to make it to this mine and uh, transition zone and probably rest for the rest of the night because I want to uh, run and I cannot run with a sprained ankle. You can see up here on the left is a mine look opening. We're going to find our way through the cave. We're indoors. I set it to move a little faster than normal, so I can skip through pretty easy. And I know it looks, you know, kind of confusing, but you uh, can find your way, usually. It'll tell you, it'll be blocked, like if you can't go that way or whatever. We're going to go up here and go across this little uh, bridge.
kind of just feel your way around the place. Usually you would go to these areas with a uh, light, but I don't have one. So I'm kind of just in the dark here, making my way to where I need to go. I really can't see, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a fire real quick. In doing so, we can take a torch. That will help us see. So as you can see, we've made it to the Pleasant Valley entrance. This is the transition zone. So we're going to transition into Pleasant Valley. Extinguish your torch so you can reuse it later. Normally, like I said, we would scavenge, but we're not. This is Pleasant Valley. And we're just going to kind of go back into the cave so we can bed down for the night because we don't have enough time to make it through Pleasant Valley. So to bed down in the cave, bring up tab. Click bedroll. Lay it down. Choose how many hours you want to sleep. There's usually, I think, about 10 hours or whatever. I mean, there's 5 hours of daylight left, which I could make use of if I had painkillers, but I don't. So, I'm just going to rest. <laughs> so, let's see how many hours of darkness are left. Three hours, so we're gonna go back to our bedroll where we were. <laughs> now we're awake. We're gonna pick up the bedroll, it's daylight, and we are outie. Uh, looks like a pretty crappy foggy day out here in Pleasant Valley, so we have spawned at Pleasant Valley. We're gonna put our torch away by holstering. Push H. Bring up our steam overlay again. We're gonna close Mystery Lake map now that we're done. And we're gonna look for Pleasant Valley. So Pleasant Valley, we're gonna make it bigger. We're going to look for where we came out. We came out at the Winding River. So that means right here. This is where we are. And we want to go ahead and open up Coastal Highway. So that means we need to go clear across the map, basically, and go up here to open Coastal Highway. So we are going to start by getting down here and taking the river until we get to Heartbreak Ridge, and then we'll take the uh, road to the mine. Okay. Alright, so close the steam overlay.
do anything for a drink right now. So our little guy's thirsty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to inventory, which is I. Click water, click drink. He's probably hungry too. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I have the cheat on so he won't starve or die, but just for game show purposes, here we go. He can eat as well. He is out of water, so he will be getting pissy later here soon. So let's bring up our map because we're on an actual road here. We are on this road, it appears. And we'll come to this road eventually, and that's where we are going to take a right to go to the event of mine. See? Now we have arrived at the main road and we're gonna go this way to the right. Again, I have a cheat, so this is a lot faster than it normally would run. Just so you know. Normally I explore all that, but not today. Right here is where we're going to turn. I get a little turn around, so just bear with me. Sometimes I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> but I'll get you there. Hold on. Maybe we, I think we turned too soon. Or we didn't turn soon enough. Hang on. Let me go back down here.
so keep going up here. I think we're going to come to a, uh, you'll see, uh, start seeing stuff here. Like mine stuff. Like a walkway area, maybe. So there's the tree, so you know you're in the right area. I'm going to walk under it. There's also the start of a walkway here. See? So walk under this tree. This is the abandoned mine, and this is going to take us to the coastal highway, which you will see if you bring up your steam overlay map. Right here, we're going to go to coastal highway. So we're going to go ahead and close this, and we're going to bring up coastal highways map. So this is where we're going to come in at, and we are going to hightail it down to Commuter's Layment to get to Crumbling Highway so we can get over to the Desolation Point. So when we come down from Abandoned Mine, um, you might not want to do the same things that I'm going to do, but I'm trying to get there quickly, so you just want to make your way down the mountain to this main road, follow it. As you know, I'll show you when I get to the main road, you just follow it all the way down. It's pretty simple to get to Crumbling Highway, which is a transition place between Mystery Lake and Desolation Point. So, let's go.